How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Waffle Rowlet and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today I want to show you how to make the most money in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Now as you guys know, money in this game is very important since you need to buy Pokeballs for really anything you do. It's also kind of the a double edged sword in this game, right? It's fun to catch Pokemon, but also it's really hard to do it because you lack Pokeballs a lot of the time and you lack Pokeballs because of the lack of money. So. How can you make the most money so you can go out and shiny hunt and level your Pokemon and all that? Well, today I'll tell you the three tips for how you can get the most amount of money in this game to make, you know, just from playing the game. So let's talk about it, guys. So let's start with the first method, which is right here, and that is to rebattle the Elite Four. Now, let me explain how you need to do it to make the most money out of it, guys. Now, what you gotta do is, you gotta battle the Elite Four, which can give you anywhere from 70,000 Poké Dollars all the way to over $100,000 if you use specific Pokémon with specific moves. Now, let's talk about which ones you would need. You would need to have two level 100 Persians. Now, why would you need these? Well, basically, you need these because they can have the move Payday. And Payday basically is the best move you can possibly have on these two Pokémon, or these Pokemon in general, because they increase the amount of money you get the more times you use the move in a battle. Now, I used the move about six times in a single battle, and I got a, an extra 6,000 Poké Dollars, which is a lot of money. So what you gotta do is make sure that you have yourself a, uh, you know, two Persians in your team, which I do not have right now, but I do have a different Pokemon. So this is kind of a, gonna be two information things here at the same time. So like I said, the best possible outcome for a potential 100,000 Poké Dollars is to have two Persians at level 100, which can be, you know, seeming a little bit intimidating to get, you know, or maybe you don't have uh, Meowth sporting in your game, because I think it's exclusive to Let's Go Eevee, might be wrong on that one, but, you know, Maybe you can get your hands on, you know, two easy, you know, two easy Persians. Well, guess what? If you have Let's Go Eevee, you can actually go and give your Eevee the TM Payday. So if you don't have the ability to use any of the, you know, Persians and whatnot, so you can't get Persians to level 100, I think you should have at least your starter Pokemon Eevee at a pretty high level. Now, of course, if you're playing Let's Go Pikachu, you might not have that, but you might have another normal type Pokemon that could actually take Payday. So if you go here into more details, you can see I have Payday on my Pokemon. Now, why is Payday so good? Well, basically, when you use this move, every time you use it, it, you increase the amount of money you'll receive from winning the battle and basically get a bunch of money back extra. So usually from a battle from the Elite Four, you make about 12,000 to 13,000 Poké Dollars, but by using Payday, the more times you use it, you increase it a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. After using it about 10 times, you can make up to seven, like 7,000 extra Poké Dollars and using it more than that, you know, can get you even more. So there's a lot to be made from just the Elite Four itself. So definitely, if you want to make a lot of money from just, you know, just battling the Elite Four over and over again, which gets really easy when you have a level 100 Pokemon, which I have a few of already. But if you have a level 100 Pokemon, it makes it very easy to, you know, uh, definitely def defeat the Elite Four. But you want to make sure you have Payday, because that increases the amount of money you get. And if you just have two Persians, like I said, with level 100 and with the TM Payday, you can definitely have an easy time against the Elite Four and make a lot of money. Up to 100,000 Poké Dollars, and maybe even more, depending on, you know, um, kind of the rates you get here. But 100,000 Poké Dollars guaranteed if you use two Persians with Payday, and just use Payday in the battles, and you'll be able to sweep through easily and have loads of money at the end. Now, that's one of the methods, and you only make about 100,000 of this, and you can keep doing this over and over again, because the Elite Four are not limited daily, but if you just want to do this, you know, one time, and it's boring to just do the Elite Four, well, guess what? There is another way to make Pokemon money, and there is an easy one, and which is that? Well, basically, to rebattle the gyms. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Basically, once you've completed the Elite Four in Pokemon Let's Go Pichu, Let's Go Eevee, you can actually go and rebattle the gyms, and they will also give you money. Now, this is probably more recommended if you want to take on, you know, just kind of like do something else instead of just rebattling the, the you know, the Elite Four. If it's boring to rebattle the Elite Four, you can actually go to the gym leaders and rebattle them. And you make almost around the same money from these guys. I think some of them actually give a little bit more than like the actual Elite Four. I noticed like some of them actually do give like slightly more, but it really depends on though. So if you do go to the uh, gym leaders, you can actually rebattle them again after the Elite Four. But make sure again that you guys have the Persians on you or just a Pokemon that can use Payday um, that is level 100 because that's the best way to sweep through and not spend a lot of time. This is the best, quickest, and easiest method to do it, guys. So, you know, just go in and battle out these guys, and you'll definitely have yourself a lot of cash. And you can see right here, guys, uh, just go up, and boom, here he is. And we can rebattle, you know, just rebattle Brock and easily make some money. Now, I've already made about, like, right now I have about 70,000, uh, 75,000, and that's from just using, just using uh, Eevee in two battles, I think, or one battle, I think. I used Eevee in one battle in the Elite Four. 
And I made like 5,000 extra Poké Dollars from that. Uh, usually I'd make about like 70,000, 72,000, but just by using Eevee, I make a bit more extra money. So definitely, and that's by using Payday, by the way, on my Eevee. So definitely make sure you get like a Persian or something that can use, you know, just level 100 and that has Payday. It's the most important thing, guys. Keep that in mind. So what other methods are there? Is there any other method to make money and, you know, maybe do something extra along the way? Well, there is one, guys, and this is a method that's also very useful if you want to level a Pokemon to 100. And let me show you what that is. So if you just go and fly to Cerulean City, and keep in mind, this is only able to be done post-game, guys. But uh, what you got to do, though, is you fly to Cerulean City, and you will find uh, something very interesting you can do there. So let's just fly there real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. So... Now that you're in Cerulean City, you just gotta make sure you can get over to the Cerulean Cave, which uh, I'm just gonna go the uh, normal path. I'm not gonna, you know, fly over. I'm just gonna, you know, surf over uh, as uh, so I can show you kind of what I mean because maybe not everybody has a Charizard or something at this point in the game. Uh, most people, I would assume, would do, but uh, maybe you don't. So let's just show you how you would, you know, surf over there. But uh, just gotta surf over to the uh, other side where the Cerulean Cave is and, uh, you know, where Mewtwo is, essentially. You gotta surf over there and uh, get inside and you'll be able to actually make some more money and I'll show you how you can do that in a second. As soon as we get there, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But it's a very easy method and it's also super, super good if you want to also level up your Pokemon really, really quick. I got myself my Pokemon to level 100 from doing this method, so let me show you. Now, when you're inside the cave, oops, there we go, got a gold bat in our way. But uh, once you're inside the cave, what you gotta do is, and you can also just put on Repel in here, and just use that to kind of make your way through without having to encounter Pokemon. But you see these patches, guys. Well, these patches have items in them. Now, the ones on this floor usually don't, uh, but if you go upstairs, just like surf here on the first area, like just up here, literally just up this route, and boom, right here. Just gotta stop here, go upstairs, and you can just instantly start going for a bunch of items. Now, which sort of items can you find here? Well, I'll show you in a second. Let's just go through and find a few ones in the these patches. Now, they're inside of these patches. It can be like a blue patch like this. It can be a red patch like this. Uh, you can you know, kind of search through all of them, and you'll be able to find yourself a item. There you go, golden raspberry. Now, why is the golden raspberry so good? Well, it's a golden one, and they're worth a lot more money, guys. You can get about $2,000 to $3,000 in this game from these. And look at that, golden nana berry. Now, I think the respawn rate for these is about 10 minutes. Minutes. So it takes you about 10 minutes to respawn these items. You got an Ultra Ball as well there. There you go. There's also a chance to get a Master Ball, guys. You can actually get a Master Ball from these patches. It's super rare, though, but you can actually get it. So you got another Ultra Ball there, but you can also get, like I said, you can actually get a Master Ball from these patches. Very rare, but it is possible. Golden Nana, Golden Nana Berry there as well. Uh, let's see if you get anything else up here. Nothing there, and I think we already checked that. No, we haven't checked that patch. We'll check it in a second, but you know, here you go. Got another one. Great Ball this time. Let's see what else we can get on the other side here, because I know I saw a patch right there. So, what's the other way you can level here? Well, I'll explain it in a second, but also I'll do a separate video most likely for this. But there's a really easy method for leveling up here. I already checked that. Let's see. So, boom. There you go. Golden Nano, Golden Nano Berry again, which again goes for a lot of money, which I'll show you later on as soon as we're done inside the cave. Uh, 10 Ultra Balls. There you go, guys. Look at that. 10 Ultra Balls. Booyah. That's a good catch. That's a really good... That's a rare spawn right there. Um, there you go, lads. So that's what I mean. Like, you can get a lot of good things from this cave just by standing in here. So there you go. We just uh, got ourselves uh, a bunch of berries and 10 extra Ultra Balls. There you go. I had nine before. Now we got more. So there you go. Now we have three Golden Nana Berries and one Golden Raspberry. Now, these can be worth a lot of Poké Dollars. And also, they're very good when catching Pokémon that are rare. So if you're going for, like, a Mewtwo or something, uh, you know, or just going for, like, a Legendary Pokémon, which, by the way, Legendary Pokémon, like Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, actually respawn after you defeat the Elite Four over and over again. So you can catch them several times if you want to. It's really, really, really nice. But, um... Let's go away from this guy. Now, a really good method for leveling in here, guys, which I'm just gonna quickly tell you for, you know, just, uh, you know, quick, just a quick purposes, quick purposes, but a good way to level in here is to find Chansey. Now, Chansey is slightly more rare than the other Pokemon in this cave, but if you find a Chansey, definitely go for it, because if you can chain a bunch of Chanseys, which is, you know, the catch combo, if you can catch combo a bunch of Chanseys, they can actually give you upwards to 30,000 experience per catch. Actually, I had a viewer who actually got 60,000 experience from one catch, which actually can give you a Pokemon like, you know, let's say uh, my, uh, my my freaking Magikarp over here. You can, see, you can see the level on that Magikarp. It's 84. That's from just spending 30 minutes inside of this cave doing like, you know, just a little bit of catching. You can get a lot of experience from it, guys. It's really, really crazy, but definitely do that if you want to, you know... 
Just get yourself um, a lot of a lot of a lot of experience, guys. But just find a chancy uh, in this cave. You know, just gotta spend a little time to find one. Just find a chancy and then just keep catching it over and over again. You know, in a combo. And don't break the combo, by the way. But keep ca catching it, and you'll get so much experience, guys. That's what I did. You can get all all the way up to sixty thousand experience. And if you get your chain really high, you can maybe even get more than that. But there you go, guys. That's the cave, and that's what you do in the cave. Now let me show you how the actual uh, you know raspberries and you know the golden berries, whatever you want to call them, uh, how the golden berries, how much they go for in the um, the Pokemon. So we're just going to go and sell those and see how much they go for. Uh, you know, we don't need to actually sell them, but you know, I'll just show you how it looks like and what it goes for. And also, um, if anybody is curious, here's how it looks like when you are surfing on a shiny Gyarados, which looks awesome, by the way. But yeah, there you go, guys. <laughs> Hope that looks cool. But um, let's just, uh, just quickly run down this route and get all ourselves out of this place and go inside of the Pokemon. And, uh, you know, I can just show you guys how much they go for. Let's just swim back. We actually fly over, but let's just swim back because, you know, Gyarados looks really cool. So I just want to show you guys this. But yeah, there you go. Look at that beautiful Gyarados, man. I really love the riding Pokemon in this game. It's freaking awesome. But yeah, let's just ride back up and I'll show you how much they go for. Uh, like I said, about 2,500, 2,000 to 3,000, something like that. You know, in, in between that range, range is what they go for. Um, really, really nice pricing for them. So definitely recommend that if you guys are going to go for, uh, you know, um, these uh, berries and whatnot, uh, definitely do it. And just keep in mind that there is a respawn rate, uh, which I think is about 10 minutes. It takes about 10 minutes for them to, you know, respawn the berries again, which is a little bit of time, but uh, definitely Definitely worthwhile to stick around for that. So here we go, guys. Let's just see what we can sell them for. And it should be a decent amount of money. So let's just find them real quick. Uh, should be down here. Here we go, guys. So Golden Raspberry goes for 2,500. And Golden Nana Berry goes for 2,500 as well. So yeah, there's also another berry which goes does go for more, which I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's a Golden Pinup Berry. Uh, Pinup. Get Berry, not Pinup. But uh, Pinup Berry should also go for a decent amount of money. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's going to be just about it, guys. So just these combined right now. We can sell these for, two, uh, these for 5,000 and these combined with, uh, you know, 7,500. That's, that's a good amount of money from like a quick, you know, search through that cave. Uh, which didn't even take that long, like two minutes. So definitely recommended to do that, guys, with some quick cash. If you're really, like, in need for cash, that is the most recommended thing to do. Just go inside the cave and do that, guys. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this, uh, you know, uh, money-making tutorial, guys, in the game. If there are other methods that I have missed, then let me know in the comment section down below, guys. But that is the best method to do to get money in this game. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Wolf Rowlett. If you guys did enjoy the video, then drop a like down below. And also subscribe for future videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all the next time. Bye-bye.